Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining. May I know if you can hear me? Am I audible? Awesome. Thank you for joining. Satshriyakal, Namaste, Adam to everybody. I have just invited Jenam and he'll be here shortly. Hey. Hi, Jenam. How yeah. are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What about the audience? Yeah. Can everybody hear Jaina? Please let us know. This is the first time I'm like uh, coming live on Instagram. I think you have fun. You have something to bring yeah. with you? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Actually, but due to for, like yeah, due to the renovation, uh, like. Um, everything is very matched up right now in the house. So, yeah. Well, right. So, for everybody to know, Jainam is studying and also following uh, Jainism. So, he has a diploma degree in Jainism. Can you tell me? Yep. Yes, and you're also a writer. You're also an astrologer. How do you do all of this? I was always like uh, jack of all trades, master of none, something like that. Was, like, so I used to do everything, bits and pieces, but uh, never do anything incomplete. So that's the reason. But finally, like uh, Jainism is something that I want to completely be a master of. Right? Yes. So yeah. Yes. So I'd like to learn something about you today, as you a lot of things. Because oh, I have, I have, have been and sorry, your voice is uh, breaking a bit. So I yeah. want to learn a lot of things from today. Mm -hmm. Because I've always been in the and then I want to learn about it. And then I want to learn about it. Um, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Jaram, what exactly is Jainism? Rather, how do you do So, like, uh, Jainism is one of the ancient religions of India. And uh, the unique thing about Jainism is, like, when we think about religion generally, especially the Western audience, like uh, they think about religion, they think about a God who has created the universe and uh, he is the doer, preserver and destroyer and he has all the decisions and everything. But uh, the unique thing about Jainism is that in Jainism there is no creator God and the universe is infinite, beginningless and endless. It's like a circle. So nothing has ever been created nor anything will be ever destroyed. Everything just transforms. So that's the philosophy of Jainism. And in Jainism, the God, the very concept of God, are the souls who have destroyed their karma and achieved liberation. So we consider God to the souls who have like destroyed their karma. And uh, the problem of our existence is that uh, our soul is uh, attached with the karma because of our activities. So in Jainism, karma is actually uh, physical particles, matter. It is the matter which is there in the universe completely. 
and uh, it gets attracted to the soul and sticks to it uh, once the soul does any activity through mind body and speech and uh, our main motive as existence is that we have to realize who we really are so destroy the ignorance because uh, we have since beginning less time we have been attached to some or the other form like one sense beings two sense beings human being or plantation anything due to our karma and we have not realized who we really are that we are soul we are atma and once we realize it now we will become detached to the body and the things uh, like the material things and we will start focusing on destroying the karma and once every each and every karma is destroyed we achieve liberation and in jainism like punya and pap like in karma there are two things punya and pap good karma and bad karma so even the good karma needs to be destroyed like there should be zero karma no good karma no bad karma soul alone should be there that way uh, soul achieves liberation so this is a very basic uh, yeah soul alone should be there so yeah so that way a person achieves liberation yeah okay so it's just five and your 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 voice is uh, cracking in the middle i cannot hear properly uh, uh, okay i just remember everybody please excuse me seriously yeah are we done are we done Yeah. And I wear my yoga shoes. Oh, your mic is, I guess, muted. Yeah. What about now? What about now? Yeah. Now I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Am I echoing? No. No. It's fine. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. so you said that um, it's a cycle of life or a circle of life yeah and your whole so, aim is to achieve liberation yeah every soul actually the thing is that every soul in its intrinsic quality has knowledge yes. uh, and a soul is liberated intrinsically okay but the problem is we are in the ignorance that we are this body we are this mind and whatever so, our existence right now is we believe that this is our real existence and due to that ignorance uh, we uh, kind of like are stuck in the cycle of attachment and and due to attachment comes uh, hatred and jealousy and ego and all those things so yes. the main problem is ignorance about who we really are and attachment mm-hmm. towards the what we are not like we are not this body we are not this karma we are not this wealth or material success and all these things but we attach ourselves with it and that's the reason we are suffering so we have to like uh, realize that who we really are mm. not we are beyond all this so this is the very basic uh, way of explaining jainism yeah and you've explained it well janam i think uh, there's a point you made that uh, there is attachment hmm Am I still yeah. echoing? No, no, no. It's fine. Okay, all right. So about attachment, right? And I think yeah. when we have this is my knowledge, when we are attached to something, we have so many expectations. Yeah. yeah. And it is mostly the root of all evils. We yeah, feel I anger. think in all the like in all the religions, of, uh, it is very the concept of attachment is very similar. that you are attached mm-hmm. to things and that's the reason you are suffering because with attachment yes. comes ego with attachment care comes jealousy right. Right. and right. expectations right. and all those things so that's the reason the main so focus right. is to become detached from uh, mm-hmm. all this things because we are not this that's the thing mm-hmm. like let's say uh, for example a diamond is fallen in mm-hmm. mud like kichad mein ek heera gir gaya to the diamond is diamond even if it is in the keychard once someone realize like when someone finds it finds it uh, cleans it it is still a diamond yeah. 
even when it is in the keychard it is still the diamond even when it is cleaned up it is still the diamond it is not the part of keychard oh bas usme gir gaya hai temporarily but in reality it is always the diamond so this is the example we can take of soul and the opposite of soul that is the matter right thanks janam does anybody have questions regarding this from the audience and i think people are saying that i am still echoing maybe if i shift my position for me i like for me it's not echoing right now okay i think it was so echoing were... earlier so i guess maybe the message is uh, like lag usually it's a lag yeah what about now everybody i can hear myself echoing little annoying okay but uh, i'll go on and ask because everyone can hear you clearly and you're the one educating us so uh, were you always following jainism or um, did you transition into it slowly as you grew older so like i was born in jainism and my parents are uh, parents were jain and they followed jainism so yeah i was born as a jain but yeah i didn't yeah. understand jainism as much in my childhood but yeah. uh, luckily my parents dropped me off from the school in 6th standard and uh, put me in gurukul so gurukul is just okay. like a, a example in hinduism there is gurukul where you have been taught religion and culture of yeah. that uh, yeah. uh, thing so same way i was taught sanskrit i was taught ayurveda yoga then jainism vedic mathematics and all those things all the ancient things it's, it was just same like the ancient gurukul that has been mentioned in our books so for two right. years i was there so i like came to know about the basics of jainism but yet i no. didn't have that understanding because i was very young but not only yes. young but still i was like i was a very not materialistic guy but uh, i wanted to achieve the corporate success and all so i left yeah. gurukul after 2 years then i completed my graduation started working within like i used to go to college and work whole day completely i used to do two three different works and also i was completely busy in all those things then when i was 21 my father passed away and after that i had to take over my family business so i had to leave my job and come to my family business then du- uh, during that time it was a difficult time emotionally so that time i finally stopped myself and thought about stuff like because before yeah. that i was always about running and achieving trying to achieve everything and all yes. so finally that that came the time when i wanted to understand things and i started with astrology so i yeah. understood astrology then i started reading about buddhism and uh, hinduism in hinduism particularly i read a lot about advaita vedanta so i read okay. a lot about it yeah. and slowly and steadily then i thought to myself that uh, Uh, like in this out like in these religions if there is so much deep philosophy and it's so intriguing then obviously uh, there there will be a lot of deep things in jainism also and uh, since i was born and brought up as a jain so i uh, i decided that i should start study jainism very deeply so then mm-hmm. i came to jain and i did courses and all but also like day and night i used to just study uh, and read books and listen to lectures about particularly jainism advaita vedanta and buddhism so jainism hinduism and buddhism so and okay. then i like currently i am doing yeah. other courses of jainism and all and i also teach uh, yeah. jainism so yeah so would you say these are more spiritual these religions oh uh, yeah i yeah. found very deep like for example there is not no hatred or anything but when i read the western philosophies or western religions uh yes. i didn't find it much uh like personally i didn't find them very deep or very philosophical and i was always attached more to india and indian culture and all so i got really deep into uh, these philosophies and there is a lot of similarities of course there is a huge difference between these three yes. philosophies buddhism hinduism and jainism but there are also many similarities so to understand was very easier compared to uh, something completely else so i read and i got interested into history of india and politics and politics and all so that also helped because our major uh, history is built from these three religions like uh our major culture the religion has been the most significant thing in our country 
so it was very yeah. uh, important to study uh, all these religions so that's so, the reason uh, yeah so you were saying that you had read about uh, uh, you had read the veda in hinduism advaita so vedanta you, yeah yeah and do you feel that uh, jainism is the same as uh, hinduism is it a part of it or is it so, exclusive is it so the own? main misconception yeah. between yeah. yeah so the main misconception between uh, among the people is that they think that buddhism jainism hinduism are the same religion but they are not mm. yeah one thing is there because there is a lot of cultural influence because these religion have been there yeah. since like 2000 5000 years and these three have oh, been yeah. there in mm-hmm. india so that's the reason uh, there is a lot of cultural influence so we see a lot of similar uh, practices among religions but that's all cultural influence but philosophically uh, all three are completely different uh, once we completely go deep into it we will find that these are different yes uh, all believe in uh, like soul but then buddhism believes in a temporary existence of soul while hinduism jainism believes in a permanent existence of soul so you will find many similar karma is there in all three religions soul is there hmm. uh, reincarnation is there in all three religions but yes. still uh, the names the words karma soul uh, hmm. reincarnation uh, all these things punya pap bhagwan all these things is there but the meaning behind it uh, if we go really deep it's very different you know like for example uh, yeah. in advaita vedanta they yeah. say that uh, brahma satyam jagat mitya jivo dharma yo na paro so that means that brahman alone is real so atma alone the soul alone is real and it is not yeah. apart from the brahman and through brahman this entire universe is manifested so that means advaita vedanta says that everything is one all is one and to real uh, so uh, right. self realization is when you realize that you are soul and everything is not not apart from you but everything is same that's advaita vedanta philosophy of self realization now come to jainism so in jainism they say that jivo anya udgalascha anya ityasau uh, tatva sang, uh, sangraha that means that soul is different everything else is different matter is different soul okay. is different so when you realize this that you and everything else is different you achieve real self realization so mm-hmm. look how it is all are talking about yes. soul all are talking about matter but oh, yeah. all are talking about self realization but the difference is advaita vedanta says that everything is one and jainism says everything is different and that's the point when you achieve self realization so all this very uh, in- intrinsic differences are there so words are same but still there is a huge like there is a contradiction complete contradiction between two philosophies so oh, this yes. is the thing uh, thank you so much for clarifying this for me yeah 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 and uh, the, the other question i have is what do you like the most about jainism so uh, like uh, i am already i used to be and i am a very logical and skeptical person so even when i like i never believed in astrology my mom used to practice astrology but then i came after my father passed away i looked at the horoscopes of my father and my family and people and i tested it then i realized that oh it is right 100% so then i oh. uh, started believing in astrology so same way uh, is uh, with the jainism and all so i studied all the religions i studied everything i used to w- watch lectures of atheists like Uh, i used to mm. listen to every one and i used to read and jainism was very practical the approach and mm. uh, i came to this conclusion that i want to follow this religion because uh, the philosophy of non creation like universe is infinite no one can create the universe and there is no yes. one who is uh, controlling everything everything is going on in its independent form mm. like uh, uh, the sun rays come to water water like evaporates and becomes clouds everything is automatic it's not that someone is doing it purposely so all this and then the philosophy of atma and karma that how mm. uh, the relation between soul and karma and even if the karma is attached to soul soul itself is uh, in its purest of form it is uh, it is a uh, peace like yes so all these things and yeah so the entire philosophy plus the concept of detachment like every religion yeah. has the concept of detachment no doubt but when it comes to jainism if you look at jain monks and the practice they do yes. so they don't even like 
if you look at digambar monks they don't even wear clothes because uh, parigra like uh, possession is avoided so even clothes mm. wearing clothes is a possession so even mm. they get rid of clothes they do not use even when they have to remove their hair they pluck it through their hands mm. they do not use any vehicles they walk uh, by uh, through their foot foot step because they know that our body is not us we have to just yes. the, we have got the body because of the karma and we have to just right. use it to uh, to practice religion that's it okay. and uh, so not to be attached to body not to pamper the body and jainism is a very extreme religion like uh, if you look at buddhism it's a madhyam mark uh, the middle way uh-huh. that you should not pamper your body too much but you should also not uh, like harm your body too much like go to mm-hmm. extremes but jainism also is about extreme uh, that uh, you don't you have to leave everything and you have to become a monk and without becoming a monk there is no way you can achieve liberation because if you are in the samsara then you are attached to it because if yeah. you are detached then you will become a monk anyway like you will leave the samsara and uh, yeah it is a strict religion but it's not strict if a person knows uh, the truth like once a person yeah. realizes this then for them it's not a pain so if you look at a monk even if material like from outside people would say oh so much uh, trouble like uh, like if it's a hot season they don't even have uh, clothes to wear for hot or if there is too much cold still they have to be naked or even the shwetambar oh. monks who just wear a white piece of cloth and nothing else no yes. air conditioning no fans nothing so no bed they have to sleep uh, on like on a normal uh, plane this so all these things are there uh, yet they are happy like and they have chosen yes. this like most of and jains are super rich so whoever have become monks they are multi millionaires and all but they left left all their wealth mm. they completely donated all their wealth and they chose this path mm. so that means that they have realized something that is far more beyond this material world mm-hmm. that they uh, just left everything like even recently mm-hmm. one of my friend has uh, taken uh, this sanyas and okay. uh, he was like very rich like uh, he had a great business but yet the entire family took uh, sanyas so mm-hmm. yeah why are people leaving uh, because they have realized that in this material world uh, there is no way of happiness even the pleasures that we get is actually a illusion of pleasure it's not really the mm-hmm. infinite happiness that uh, mm-hmm. we can find it's just yeah. a temporary pleasure which we have got yeah. because of some good karma so that's the thing yeah. okay and uh, gen gen genum but if there is a problem that's going on whether it is related to nature or humanity mm. then yeah. uh, is it one of the principles to go and do something actively or uh, uh, Or do do uh, do they even detach from that? So the people who are in the samsara has all the responsibilities to take care of all these things, and uh, Jainism is always about limitations. Like we do not eat, uh, we do not kill animals. Of course, we are vegetarians, but we don't even eat anything that is below ground, because uh, yes. as I said, that there are infinite amount of uh, souls, like uh, infinite amount of microorganisms, and all everything is uh, jeev. Like they are. alive yes. they are conscious beings and when we eat them we are killing those many amount of uh, jivas so we should not be eating this and we don't even eat after sunset we don't eat before sunrise because once the sun is set there are n number of uh, jivas one sense beings and two sense beings that uh, become active after the sun is gone mm. that we cannot see through our eyes but when we eat the food we are in a way killing uh, so many uh, of the jivas so the non violence is one of the main uh, principles of jainism yeah. and yeah so it is practically a lot so that's the reason the environment and all this protection automatically comes because we are protecting yes. every being from a normal microorganism to a five sense human being so yeah so all these things automatically come i've seen the symbol of jainism it's a palm and in the center is written uh, ahimsa which means non violence yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that so, is the at the core one of the practices is to be non-violent. Right? Yeah, so that is uh, one of the most uh, important uh, principles hmm. of uh, Jainism. Yeah. Hmm. 
Thanks, Jenam. And um, I think you've already mentioned what is so challenging about uh, Jainism, about the practices. Mm -hmm. But could you just uh, tell us a little bit more about about what exactly is the challenge? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a second. Yes. Yeah, actually, do, doing this live is kind the of difficult, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, need to go and tell you something. You can no, 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 finish no, no, it and uh, come. No, it, it's just fine. It's just fine. And uh, in this, I cannot even switch off my video or audio, so that's another problem. But no way. Yeah. So uh, yeah. the thing is about uh, so the three main principles of uh, like the three A's of Jainism is hmm. that ahimsa, aparigraha, and ekantvad. So ahimsa is non-violence. Aparigra non -violence. is yeah. So aparigra is a uh, non-possessive, non-possession. So hmm. anything like to have no possessions. And ha, hmm. for a monk it's extreme. For a layman, uh, like for a normal person, it is to at least do the highest possible. Like for example, uh, have restrictions that okay, uh, I will earn this much of wealth, and anything beyond I earn it, I will just donate it. So. Yeah. Have the lowest of possession possible. Then Anekantvad is a principle uh, which which is very philosophical. Uh, it is about multi-sided viewpoint. Like to know a reality, uh, there are multiple viewpoints. So, for example, oh, if yeah. a person wants to uh, know soul, that what is soul. Yeah. So there are so many viewpoints through which we can understand a part of the whole reality. So, for example, a very basic example is if uh, someone asks what is a lemon. So uh, one person hmm. will say lemon is round, one will say lemon is yellow, one will say lemon hmm. is sour. So that person round, uh, the person who said round is saying through the uh, perspect per perception of uh, shape, while the hmm. one person is uh, looking it at uh, from the perspective of uh, this taste, who is saying sour, hmm. and one is looking through color, who is saying yellow. Hmm. So it's the same thing, but uh, look at the different perspectives. So yes, to know yes. a thing, there are n number, infinite number of perspectives to realize one whole thing. So this is the concept of anekantvat, and it is very important because in logic, when we like when we understand the philosophy, we come to logic, mm -hmm. and during that time, we want to understand a perspective. Like we cannot understand it. Uh, like for example, when we say that we are soul, that we are atma, but that doesn't mean that uh, I will just stop going to work or. Uh, mm -hmm. If someone calls me by my name and I will stop uh, saying that, I will say that no, I am soul, I am not Jainam. So it's not like that. Yes. Because when someone calls me through their name, uh, through my name, it is one perspective. They are uh, calling me from the perspective of this human form. But when I am in thinking inside, I am thinking myself as a soul. So these are the hmm. different perspectives of one whole person. So this is the concept of Anekantva. So Ahimsa, Aprigra, and Anekantva. These three A's of Jainism hmm. are very important. To uh, like very very important, yeah. I love the third one, anekantva, to have more than one perspective or to see it. Uh, to know the truth, yeah. From, yes, correct. I think that makes you very tolerant, a. Yeah. And b, it makes you very non-judgmental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, and uh, like uh, yes, Jainism is uh, one of the very tolerant religions. And anyone can join Jainism and all, but uh, in a way, Jainism is also very strict religion. So it is tolerant, but it is also very strict because the practices are difficult. If one really wants to achieve liberation, it has to like. But it automatically comes. Like once a person realizes something, experiences something, and uh, gets the perform belief uh, in the concepts, they will start practicing it. Like. Uh, all this will not look like suffering. Uh, all this will not look like a pain to them. Hmm. So, because uh, Jainism, as we go deeper, there is uh, there are a lot of concepts like Salekna and all, which nowadays for a normal person it will be a very controversial uh, thing, and it has been in controversies. This concept. What but, exactly is this? So, it is the vow to fasting till death, 
so once a person now realizes that okay it's his end time and uh, and uh, he he or she might like die in a few days like pass away in a few days and uh, there is not much left so they take the vow of salekna that uh, okay. gradually they start decreasing uh, their sins like any pap oh. so they will first stop eating or stop moving they will restrict yeah. themselves to one area one home or one room then they will gradually stop eating then gradually they will stop uh, taking water okay. then uh, they will uh, stop uh, speaking so that way gradually they will uh, yeah. like uh, pass away so that's a thing yep okay thanks janam for that and uh, since this is a part of my interfaith uh, series Um, yeah. I'd like to know your interfaith experience. Any experience you've had with people of other faith? What have you liked? So, what have you not liked? In all honesty, I so uh, like we stay in a country where there are all the religions of the world are there in this country. Yes, yes. And there are different cultures. So of course, I have met like I have friends which are of all religions. So I have always uh, and I always like to discuss all these topics and all. with people who know about their own religion because many times it happens that i know more about hinduism and buddhism compared to the opposite mm. person so those yeah. things happen so yeah it's I different it's but yeah so yeah so i when i find someone intellectual enough then i'll start to uh, debate discuss argument mm. everything because yeah initially i used to do that a lot because when you get into logic uh, it's a kind of intoxication to do this debates hmm. and arguments uh, with other religious person so it's fun but ha uh, once you get deeper into it now i don't uh, like hmm. do much but ha uh, yeah i want to understand some concept of their religion or something then i'll start discussing about it yeah right um first of all thanks a lot jenam for coming on this yeah session. thank you for in- inviting me i appreciate me. it yes So I have asked you all the questions I had in mind, especially some controversial ones which we addressed before. Um, yeah. Whether Jainism is a part of Hinduism or not, because that is something I've been so intrigued about. I think the people And, who just uh, <laughs> like say that uh, these are the same religion are like they don't know. They have not read books like historically, mm-hmm. philosophically. Uh, even politically in all the ways buddhism and jainism are different even sikhism are different mm. than hinduism mm. so mm. Uh, they are not same if you just read one two books you will know that no they are yes. different like it doesn't yes. need yes. to uh, a person doesn't need to uh, read Absolutely. many scriptures to realize that mm. Mm. all these religions are different than each other they are not same mm. there are many concepts guess, which may find mm. uh, because of the culture like there is so much cultural mm. influence so mm. that's the reason and uh, even uh, if you look at jainism and buddhism they were mm. uh, they used to u- use the language prakrit so their uh, prakrit. scriptures are in prakrit where in hinduism scriptures are in sanskrit because sanskrit mm. those days were restricted towards only brahmins and kshatriyas mm. while the remaining mm. caste used to uh, speak in mm. prakrit but then if mm. you look at scriptures of jainism and buddhism which are like 500 or 1000 years back or 1500 years back those are in sanskrit mm. because sanskrit had become the uh like entire uh, language of india by then but if you look at the yes. main scriptures which are 2500 years old those scriptures are in prakrit of jainism hmm. and buddhism the pali prakrit of buddhism and magdi and saurashtra and maharashtri prakrit of jainism so these are the language difference and there is other differences also hmm. there Yes. Which, like if we yes. talk about it, uh, it's a complete different podcast about yes. history and archaeology and all those yes. things. And yeah. you mentioned the main philosophical difference that yeah, one says I, like that the basic difference like between it. yeah between uh, Vedanta, Dwaita Vedanta, and uh, Jainism. Yeah. The biggest difference is like this, and you will find uh, many differences between Buddhism, Jainism, Buddhism, Hinduism, all, and uh, oh. also Hinduism, the six school of thoughts, the Nyaya, Vaisheshika, Sankhya, Yoga, Purva Mimamsa, and Atma oh. Mimamsa. these are the vedic school of thoughts while buddhism jainism okay. are the shamanic religions so these are different okay. uh, even in philosophy okay. these are different yes. uh, uh, schools of thoughts okay. so that's all different there are many similarities like the okay. eight ashtanga yoga the eight paths the yama niyama asan pranayam all this uh, concept okay. of yoga 
uh, there are similar concepts in jainism also like para and all this uh, concept but the philosophy is way different if we get deep into it so yeah you given me so much clarity again thank you so much for that yeah welcome welcome we'd like to open this to the audience if anybody has some questions and you'd like to ask jenam first of all thank you everybody who has joined and stayed and listened anybody has any question Plus, that has been lockdown year, so it's very difficult uh, yeah. to do all the innovation work and all. Have you stocked up all the ration and all? Uh, no, no. I hardly have like I one or two days ka ration. I, I have I uh, like I have five ten packets of Maggie. So if anything happens, I can eat Maggie and survive for two three days. But Jai yeah, <laughs> Maggie to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, it is the only hope. <laughs> I love everyone. adding like some masala. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know <laughs> masala and all the different sauce. Ah, uh, correct, correct. Mayonnaise I and all. Agree. Yeah. What's your favorite? Oh, you add mayo also to it. No, no, no. I don't like mayo. I like cheese. I don't like mayo. I like cheese. But I oh, like I all like those sauces, hard like hard. Uh, that salsa sauce and Szechuan sauce and all those different. Oh yes, sauces. yummy. Yeah. yeah and yeah, I like absolutely. more. Uh, yeah. I'm a love fan of uh, all the sauce and gravy and also yeah. There's this uh, new one I tried by Del Monte, the Achari mayo. I think you should totally try it. Yeah, but uh, for us it's very difficult because Jain uh, is ah, difficult. Yes, like Maggie yes, has yes, Jain, yes, yes. so that is why why yes. Maggie. All of them have Jain, but uh, I don't know Del Monte has Jain or not. Del Monte, I think they have sauce that is Jain. Yeah, or else they have the Jain sauce. Yeah, yeah, they have Jain. Or else, what we do is uh, we just buy the noodles and add sauce according to our like of your own from yeah, homemade or anything like. That. Do you make sauce at home? No, we haven't done it, but uh, I think that would be pretty have, cool. Yeah, and boring for me, but yeah. <laughs> but I think lockdown experiments, everyone should try to make it. Like, you know, yeah, 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 that's true. Because in last <laughs> lockdown, I completely learned cooking. Like I know dal, awesome. chawal, shabji, everything. I know how to make. So whenever, <laughs> if there is some time when I am completely alone, nobody is there, uh, I can just survive. Perfect. Logga made you a chef. Yeah, and also a very religious person because I studied a lot in lockdown. <laughs> And I'm actually in a way happy. Yes, of course, financially and all, I'm completely gone. But uh, in but um, like spiritually, I'm very happy because yeah. I have so much time to read books. Yes. Like yes. yesterday, I just completed one book. Like it was a small book, but very deep philosophical. I just uh, read it uh, in two hours, and uh, it was. Then I com- uh, wrote about it uh, for another three hours, just a summary wow. about the entire book. So it was so much fun. Okay, I miss all these things. Uh, it's a Jain uh, philosophical book, mm. but okay, awesome. I, I'll send you a PDF. It's there in English also. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to read. Yeah, it's about self-realization. Uh, there is a person who, uh, who has mm. experienced himself, the soul, mm. and uh, he's uh, like showing. Uh, he's uh, he has written a book. He's uh, like explaining that what it is to realize yourself and how to mm. really realize yourself. So yeah. Awesome. Many times uh, it happens that uh, many people who say that they have realized themselves, but we can judge them by their conduct and their yes, knowledge. Yes, action. action. So, Correct. so we have to be very careful about uh, fake gurus and fake uh, people who pose themselves mm. as spiritual, because you said it. Uh, so that's the reason uh, reading scriptures is very important. Like reading, understanding the scriptures, the main books. Every religion has their main books. Like in Hinduism, mm. there is Bhagavad Gita and Upanishads. Like read mm. Upanishads, read Mandukya Upanishad. It's so amazing, and you will like mm. go into a deep ocean once you start reading about Mandukya Upanishad. 
like in uh, buddhism there are so many books so read about them try to understand them and if you are lucky you will find a guru but uh, hmm. it's very important to be very open uh, hmm. open minded about uh, all these things also hmm. yeah yeah and same is in astrology because in astrology it's more the fraud is going on more oh yes the world. so oh yes okay. so uh, astrology is uh, correct the prediction part is correct but the hmm. person who is the astrologer may or may not know how to really predict oh. all uh, hmm. predict right so it's important but i think all this understanding comes when many events happen in life when the understanding automatically comes like for example i am like what 27 28 years old but hmm. uh, i understood all these things because uh, the problems that happened in real life hmm. then hmm. i used to read all this or talk hmm. to people listen to lectures hmm. i used to just do all these things and slowly hmm. and steadily i uh, came to know about everything like and hmm. it's it's it was very easy uh, once i uh, came to know about stuff life became easy uh, yes so that's also a thing thing because awareness is power awareness and knowledge yeah so like we understand said. all these things so that's the reason many of the like anger jealousy ego all these things mm. go completely down once we mm. start to realize all these things automatically our behavior and conduct becomes uh, very nice like next time mm. if uh, you have to like lie even a small lie you would think that oh no i should not do this because mm. you yeah. know all those thoughts are going on in your mind the philosophical thoughts spiritual thoughts all those things are going on so you will not even do one sim- small harm to someone so the f- uh, thing is knowledge and belief comes first then comes the conduct because automatically once a person believes then against the knowledge the conduct also comes automatically so that's i agree i agree uh i think yeah. nobody has asked any questions so i think i'm just scrolling up to see if i've missed anything Yeah, I want to say top down name. Name, बहुत कुछ दिखा दिया really yeah 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 uh, you know we say thanks to this university for making me this now we like thanks to lockdown <laughs> no lockdown but the thing is uh, if we like if we think uh, financially तो काफी हालत खराब हो गई लोगों की but uh, uh, if we think in a more uh, like काफी लोग depression में भी चले गए और वो सब भी हुआ but uh, main thing is कुछ लोग थे जो लोग ने spiritual path अपनाया और जो hmm. लोग ने सोचा कि ये टाइम है जब खुद के लिए मिला है तो अभी जानो क्यों अपना एक्सिस्टेंस क्या है व्हाई आर वी हियर व्हाट आर वी डूइंग हियर एंड व्हाट इज एवरीथिंग और तब वो कुछ थोड़े लोग हैं जो लोग जो लोग का लाइफ इम्प्रूव हुआ बट ओवरऑल ऑफ कोर्स इट हैज बीन वेरी डिफिकल्ट सेम अनिकांतवाद लाइक फॉर वन पर्सन इट माइट बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट फॉर वन इट्स सिंपल Can you repeat okay. the three A's for me? Uh, ahimsa. Like ahimsa is Anikantva. non-violence. Anikantva. And a parikra, non-possessionness. Non-possession. Actually, the Anikantva. English translations are not doing the right justice. Like when we Anikantva. talk about atma and we translate to soul, soul doesn't really uh, give the great meaning of what atma is. So Anikantva. same way it is. Uh, so anekantva we can say multi-sided viewpoints. Hmm. so not ekant anekant anekant means uh, multi actually the literal meaning is anek means multiple ant means ending hmm. so anekantvad so multiple end hmm. uh, to so there is a logic it comes under the logic part of the jaina philosophy and you will find the and uh, it is very like if you uh, look at even the other uh, religions they respect hmm. these things a lot hmm when uh, because not all the time people are just debating there are many times people are uh, together and talking about each other and religion tolerant, tolerant. yeah so during those times anekantvad and ahimsa are the topics which are placed by other religions about jainism too mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. yeah and thanks jena yeah and you no, were saying uh, even the even, even the story of mahatma gandhi like one of his guru of course he was influenced by multiple religious gurus but uh, yeah. the ahimsa the concept of ahimsa he learned from shrimad raj chandra who is uh, who was a jain uh, jain uh, scholar jain yeah. pandit 
so he he was one of the pioneers uh, like very important guru for mahatma gandhi yeah. so through that uh, like through him uh, also, he learned the concept of yeah. non violence and he implemented yeah. it in this political journey so yeah i did not know that thank you for telling me yeah there are many things uh, which <laughs> yeah that we do not know everything yeah Perfect. but as so I even when i uh, read all these things and finally when i realized uh, like there are so many things that we don't know yes. we have just wasted our like i many times i regret that i wasted my first 20 years of life in just yeah. working and studying and all instead of actually studying what is important yeah. and working on what is important so yeah but it's never but too I, late I, yes and i feel uh, jenam this feeling that you have that uh, you wasted those many years i think that is what gives you that push to do what you're doing yeah. to speak about it to educate people to educate yourself and educate yeah. others so i think you get that drive perhaps from there yep yep so that's good um mg1207199994 has asked how to How evaluate to the inner voice is it the mind or heart so now the thing is inner voice uh, these are these are all the names of uh, metaphorical names of the soul hmm. like some call it uh, jyoti the lamp hmm. the illuminating hmm. lamp some call it sound of silence and all those things hmm. so it's a very uh, deep discussion about uh, like how hmm. to know the soul how to know yourself it's a very deep uh, discussion and uh, different religions will have different ways like meditation and yeah. all those thing but you have to like for example i give two examples advaita vedanta says that uh, to know yourself first when you hmm. realize yourself is when you realize that you are uh, just one with everything why jainism hmm. says that to realize yourself you have to realize that you are apart from everything you are soul and everything else is karma a matter hmm. uh, everything else is just karma and nimitta so when you hmm. have that conviction that who you really are when you get that uh, conviction from like from you are like uh, from outside we can say that you have that conviction from inside you have that experience and hmm. that experience uh, is uh, like they say that even for one split second if you experience soul the amount of sukh the amount of uh, happiness that you will happiness. experience is beyond Bilkul. like it's infinite times to compare to the material like think about the material happiness the highest of high like you are the richest person you have the best family fame education everything is there that's the highest you can think of even that is nothing compared to just a moment of experience of a soul like mm. your own experience you yourself are soul so you have to just experience your own self and once you experience it even for a split second you will have that infinite happiness just experienced within a split second so that's uh, not uh, describable by words it's very difficult to describe it through words but yeah but uh, to realize that you have to first realize yourself that who you are you have to search that who you are and who who you are not like uh, the confusion the ignorance that uh, many times we have we associate ourselves with our wealth we associate ourselves with uh, the people in our family or friends and all so you have to know that uh, what you are and what they are hmm. so uh, it's um, it's very thought like ye bahut soch apne andar hi andar ye sab vichar aate rehte hain so meditation is not something ki yahan pe baith gaye ek jagah pe aur 2 ghanta nikal liya aankh band kar ke wo nahi hai meditation is continuous like even while hmm. i'm doing a work mere dimag mein yahi baatein chal rahi hai and uh, reading books reading scriptures talking to gurus all these things also help a lot to understand and yes. uh, then yes. it comes to your own self realization like your own thoughts aur kahin na kahin uh, deeply deeply intensity badhte jayegi thoughts ki aur tum deeply andar chale jaoge and uh, you will start experiencing what is the truth it might sound difficult but uh, shastro mein matlab kai jagah aisa likha hua hai ki chai banana jitna difficult hai na usse kai aasan hai khud ko janna बिकॉज चाय बनाने के लिए तुम्हें दूध oh. चाहिए चाय चाहिए पानी चाहिए और वो सब तुम्हें ढूंढने जाना पड़ेगा फिर पैसे चाहिए वो सब खरीदने के लिए और वो सारी चीज़ है यहाँ पे तो तुम जो हो वही तुम्हें जानना है तुम्हें कहीं जाना नहीं है तुम जहाँ बैठे हो वहीं से तुम्हें खुद को ही जानना है तुम्हें किसी दूसरे की जरूरत oh. नहीं है क्योंकि तुम खुद ही वो हो 
सो एक्चुअली चाय बनाने से भी ईजी है आत्मा को जानना इट इज सैड इन मैनी स्क्रिप्चर्स विच अपने को लगता है यार अपन तो खुद को जान ही नहीं पा रहे इतना प्रैक्टिस करते हैं दिन भर मेडिटेशन में बैठे रहते हैं ध्यान लगाते हैं ये करते हैं वो करते हैं सांसों पे ध्यान देते हैं फिर किधर एक जगह पॉइंट आउट करते हैं कितना भक्ति करते हैं ये सब करते हैं फिर भी अपने को रियलाइज नहीं हो रहा है बिकॉज द थिंग इज वो एक कन्विक्शन नहीं आ रहा है वो एक इंटेंसिटी बढ़ नहीं रही और वो एक कन्विक्शन से अपन देख नहीं पा रहे हो वो चीज को इसलिए जिस दिन देख लिया ना उस दिन इट वुड जस्ट लाइक ऐसा लगेगा कि अरे इट्स इट वॉज सो ईजी एंड सो गुड सो वैसा आई लव दिस जो आपने कहा अभी एनीथिंग तो एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट हेटिंग ऑन हिम आई एम हेटिंग हिम बिकॉज ऑफ माई ईगो भी मेरा ईगो हट हुआ है सो अगर अपन डीप कोई भी चीज देखने जाएंगे ना तो एट द एंड फॉल्ट में अपन खुद ही आ जाते हैं इन अ वे बिकॉज एक तो पहले तो अपने कर्मा होते हैं अगर कोई अपने वो मारता है तो बिकॉज अपने अपन ने कुछ तो कर्मा किया है जिसकी वजह से वो वो वापस इक्वल हो रहा है तो वो एक चीज़ है किसी कोई तो जन्म में मैंने कुछ तो हार्म किया होगा कि उसकी मुझे सजा भी मिल रही है वो एक चीज़ है नाउ सेकेंड थिंग इज आर ओन ईगो लाइक इफ समन अब्यूज इज अस He is abusing, but does it matter? मतलब मेरा खुद का क्या बिगड़ा अगर किसी ने अब्यूज कर भी लिया तो बट बिकॉज अपना वो ईगो हर्ट होता है और अपन मानते हैं कि यो जो ईगो है वो मैं हूँ उसकी वजह से अपने को लगता है कि अरे उसने मुझे गाली दे दी अब मुझे बुरा लग रहा है सो इट्स लाइक दैट फिर जेलिसी होती है उसकी वजह से हेटेड होने लगता है लाइक दो अच्छे फ्रेंड होते हैं लेकिन एक फ्रेंड बहुत सक्सेसफुल हो जाता है और वो चीज़ वो देख नहीं पाता है उसकी वजह से उसको बिना मतलब का हेटेड हो जाता है सो एट दी एंड ये अटैचमेंट से ही आता है हेटेड इन अवे इसलिए अटैचमेंट क्यों हेटेड और अटैचमेंट ऐसे अलग नहीं है मोस्टली अटैचमेंट ही बोलते हैं क्योंकि उसमें सब आ गया अटैचमेंट में हेटरेड एंगर ईगो लस्ट जेलेसी सब कुछ उसमें ही आ गया इफ वी थिंक डीप अबाउट इट बट यू सेड अबाउट So I have a friend have a who said he uh, we were just passed this by in the park mm-hmm. and we saw a mother with a disabled child or a specially able child. The child could not walk. Walk was was uh, in a pram. So she said, uh, "Oh, the mother poor thing. Zaru, uh, usne kuch koi pass kiya hoga. Iska koi karm hai. You know, pass the life mein. That's why she has this trouble. Now she has a child. Child. Uh, uh, so I told her that it's nothing like that. Maybe the mother is chosen to take care of a specially able child. So maybe the mother is special. Yeah. So the thing is, ah, uh, जो लोग भगवान के religions में मतलब the people The religions which believe in a creator and preserved God, वो लोग के लिए ऐसे मूवमेंट पर आंसर करना बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है बिकॉज वाई वुड गॉड क्रिएट सम वन डिजेबल लाइफ इज गॉड इज सो सो कम्पेशनेट सो फुल ऑफ एम्पथी वाई वुड ही डू समथिंग लाइक दैट सो इट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट बट वैन यू अप्लाई कर्मा थियरी येस इट इज ट्रू दैट वॉट एवर हैपन्स टू अ पर्सन इट हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ कर्मा बिकॉज दर इज नथिंग रैंडम कि कोई एक अचानक बहुत रिच हो गया और एक अचानक एक इंसान बेचारा बहुत वो गरीब है या ऐसा कुछ बट वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू ओके वी नो दैट कुछ भी हो रहा है कर्म से हो रहा है किसी ना किसी बट वी शुड नॉट फॉरगेट आर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अगर कोई होमलेस है या किसी को खाने की जरूरत है या कुछ है तो वी शुड डू आर ड्यूटी एंड बाय योर फूड एंड गिव इट टू दैम वी शुड शो कम्पेशन एंड एम्पथी बट या इट्स इन रियालिटी इन फिलोसॉफिकल एस्पेक्ट यस इट्स ट्रू दैट कर्मा की वजह से कुछ होता है और अगर उसके कर्मा ऐसे हो गए इतने अगर किसी के कर्मा ऐसे हो गए कि खाना मिलेगा भी ना तो वो खाना कोई हाथ से चुरा के लेके जाएगा या गिर जाएगा नीचे तो ऐसा भी पॉसिबल है बट आर ड्यूटी इज कि हाँ मुझे आ, कुछ और अच्छा करना चाहिए तो वो है बट या इन फिलोसॉफिकल एस्पेक्ट यस इट्स ड्यू टू कर्मा विच इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू एक्सेप्ट इट बिकम वेरी हार्टलेस बट कहते हैं ना कि सच बहुत डिफिकल्ट डाइजेस्ट है करना बट इट इज वॉट इट इज लाइक and you read any like hinduism buddhism jainism kahi bhi karma theory padhoge to ye baat to dikhegi ki karma ki wajah se hi apne sahyog bante like the family okay. we get the 
Hmm. People that come for money, everything is due to karma. Also, Purushaarth is also working there. It's not just karma. There is kar- is karma. Purushaarth is your own will power also. Okay. So, free will. वो discussion yeah free free will yeah. So, वो discussion थोड़ा ज़्यादा deep है. So that we can do someday. But uh, yeah. तो कर्मा का भी योगदान होता है कोई भी इवेंट में और पुरुषार्थ भी लगता है बहुत सारी चीजें आती है और सब मिला के वो इवेंट होता है लाइफ का तो वैसा है बट अगर अपने साथ कुछ हो रहा है तो वी शुड नॉट हेट द पर्सन और वी शुड नॉट गेट अटैच टू अ पर्सन वी शुड थिंक दैट दिस इज एपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ कर्मा ये कर्मा तो मुझे अफेक्ट करते ही नहीं है कि मैं तो आत्मा हूँ मैं तो शुद्धात्मा हूँ आई एम प्योर आई एम कॉन्शियसनेस तो शिवो हम शिवो हम तो मैं शुद्धात्मा स्वरूप हूँ so all these things should not affect me because i am pure and uh, yeah. my goal is different compared to what is there uh-huh. so that's what is more important right uh dusra question hai thanks for answering that jenam uh other one is can you please tell when was jenam founded and why is it different from hinduism this is um, so jainism uh, yeah. Jainism believes in uh, in beginningless and endless uh, time cycle, so mm. there is no beginning, there is no end. So that's the reason Jainism is never founded. The mm. Tirthankar in every half time cycle, so there is one whole time cycle, and there is half. So in every half time cycle, there are twenty four Tirthankaras who achieve mm. this path, and when they achieve this path, they also show that path. so in yeah. us we praise god because we also want to become god so yeah. that's the thing in some religions they praise god because they want something from god or they are trying to uh like go towards god or something like that but in jainism we praise god because we ourselves want to become god and it is simple a person let's say uh, there is a young kid who wants to become like sachin tendulkar so he yeah. will uh, follow sachin tendulkar like yeah. a simple thing he will practice he will do the hard work he will do all the training that sachin did he will try to look at his techniques and how he played the cricket and everything the so same way uh, someone who wants to become god will follow someone who is a god so yeah. that's the reason we uh, we do puja and we do uh, we worship tirthankaras because and also because they shown us the path so they have yeah. done a tremendous uh, upkar on us yeah. that we got that path of liberation or as we would have just been suffering like we have been suffering yeah. since finite time so hame wo rasta mil gaya isliye so yeah so philosophically jainism ka jo path hai wo is never uh, created it's always there moksha ka jo marg hai moksha achieve karna hai to wo to hai hi is just yeah. wo bataya gaya hai uh, har thode thode saalon mein uh, kisi na kisi ke dwara wo path bataya gaya hai yeah. Yeah. so guys and it's different from hinduism because mainly in hinduism major hinduism philosophy based based on creation the concept of creation and there are many intrinsic differences like in karma to jainism mein to karma particular particles hai like there is these are material particles that are there in the universe which get attached to the soul while in hinduism karma is a concept it's not physical hmm. particles it's a concept it's a the- uh, it's a thing and uh, wahan pe bhagwan ka influence aur wo zyada hai मतलब हिंदुजम में वैसा है उसमें बस जैसे वेदांत है वो डिफरेंट है योग फिलोसॉफी है वो डिफरेंट है विच अद्वैत वेदांत का एक गिव एन एग्जाम्पल हाउ इज इट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम जैनिज्म सो या एंड यू रीड ऑन विकीपीडिया एंड ऑल यू विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ लाइक आर्टिकल्स वेर द डिफरेंस इज बिटवीन बुद्धिज्म हिंदुजम जैनिज्म इज गिवन सो या एंड बिकॉज दीज आर मोर स्पिरिचुअल राइट Uh, yeah, uh, it's a specialty, specialty of, of uh, Eastern. Of, uh, yeah, it's a specialty of Eastern religions. Like uh, we have always focused a lot on spirituality. If you oh. look at the old scriptures, everything was based on religion and spirituality. Even our festivals, everything about our uh, stuff is spiritual. So we have always yeah. been a spiritual, uh, spiritual civilization. We can say. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. All right. I think those are the questions we've had, and uh, thank you so much again for yeah. coming on here, sharing your knowledge. And again, what has stuck with me is the thing that you said, please. Ah, अपने आप को जानना सबसे आसान काम होता है. चाय बनाना, 
Bye. Bye. Bye.